This video demonstrates how to import Artisy Draft content into the dialog system. The easiest way to start is by using the Artisy Draft template project located in Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Templates, Artisy Draft template project. I've already set up an Artisy Draft project using that template. Here we can see that we have three entities that are based on the templates provided in the template project. We have a player, an NPC, and a quest. The quest is trackable, and it's set to show in the HUD when the quest starts. We also have a global variable that we're going to use to track so that we know when the player has spoken to the Riddle Master. And this is our conversation. It starts with a condition that checks if the player has spoken with the Riddle Master yet. If not, the Riddle Master introduces himself. And you can see we also put sequencer commands in the stage directions field. At the end of this node, we set the variable to true so that we know that the player has spoken to the Riddle Master. When the player replies, we set the quest state active and show an alert, and the conversation ends there. Following the other branch, the Riddle Master asks his riddle. The player can either answer, I don't know, in which case the conversation ends, or he can give the answer. At the end of that branch, we set the quest state to success and show another alert. To get this into the dialog system, we need to export it. Choose XML format. Specify the file name and export. Now in the dialog system, go to Tools, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Import, Artisy Draft. The first time you do this, the dialog system will ask you if you want to enable Artisy Draft support. Click Enable. Once that recompiles, select Tools, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Import, Artisy Draft again. Choose your Artisy Draft XML file. Check all the drop-downs. We're using stage directions as sequences, so we want that set. We've set our portrait folder to find our portrait images. And click Review. These are the entities we're going to import. And the variable. And the conversation. Then you can click Import. This will create a dialog database. In the dialog database, we have our actors, we have our quests, we have our variable, and we have our conversation. So we'll assign this dialog database to the dialog manager in our scene. We'll also enable alerts during conversations since we're using the show alert function. Our NPC is named Riddle Master. Let's set him up. He already has a usable component, so now we need to add a dialog system trigger. Add a start conversation action and select our conversation. The player is also set up to be able to interact with usables, so let's play. The first time we speak, we pick up the quest. We see that we have our quest, and now we can speak to the Riddle Master again. And if we answer the riddle, we complete the quest. 
There are many other options in the Artisee Draft Importer. To read about them, go to the Import and Export section of the manual and click on Artisee Draft. In addition to all of the options for import, you can also read about converting XML at runtime, using Artisee Draft's localization plugin, and using Artisee Draft's voiceover plugin. And that concludes the overview of importing Artisee Draft into the dialog system.